Revelation 15. What more is there to do at this point? How long will this fever dream last? When will God just declare victory and move on over to the next planet? Not yet, apparently, because first, we have to unleash the plague angels. You see, the wrath of God began with the seven seals, and then there were seven trumpets, and now we're gonna see seven plagues, aka seven vials, aka seven bowls. Because these plagues will involve actual bowls, like cereal bowls. At least this particular chapter will end quickly. I saw in heaven another great and marvelous sign, seven angels with the seven last plagues. Last, because with them, God's wrath is completed. I just want to point out how Johnny the narrator thinks seven deadly plagues is great and marvelous. That's how fundies think about natural disasters and global diseases. They think they are all signs of the end times. So they're like, bring it. They love God's wrath or whatever they think God's wrath is. And I saw what looked like a sea of glass glowing with fire. Standing beside the sea, those who had been victorious over the beast and its image and over the number of its name. They held harps given them by God and sang the song of God's servant Moses and of the Lamb. Great and marvelous are your deeds, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are your ways, King of the nations. Who will not fear you, Lord, and bring glory to your name? For you alone are holy. All nations will come and worship before you, for your righteous acts have been revealed. 144,000 virgin men with harps singing praise to God and telling God his actions are just and true. Because these people love genocide. After this, I looked, and I saw in heaven the temple, that is, the tabernacle of the covenant law, and it was opened. Out of the temple came the seven angels with the seven plagues. They were dressed in clean, shining linen and wore golden sashes around their chests. Then one of the four living creatures gave to the seven angels seven golden bowls filled with the wrath of God who lives forever and ever. And the temple was filled with smoke from the glory of God and from his power, and no one could enter the temple until the seven plagues of the seven angels were completed. Yay? Question mark? I'm glad the seven angels came dressed for the occasion of killing everybody. And it's nice of the four eyeball creatures to hand them golden bowls, because we all need to be smoking something right now. And those bowls contain anger. Anger and gruel. And somehow the temple got smoky, but, but it's cool because you can't go inside until the latest genocide is over. That is the whole chapter. We're just having fun with death and plagues and harps. Good times. Someone explain to me how our world has not been destroyed, given that people who believe in this shit are in charge of so much of the world. 